OpenAI has delivered on their promise to release a state-of-the-art open source model. This is GPT-OSS. Now, I think the mystery model Horizon Alpha that was on Open Router is actually this open source model from OpenAI, although they have not confirmed that to me. But we do have an incredible model. Let me tell you about all the details. So first, it comes in two sizes, a 120 billion parameter version and a 20 billion parameter version. These are state-of-the-art open weight language models, open weight. So not just open source, but they are actually releasing the weights to these models. And there's multiple benefits of open source. One, it's very cheap, much cheaper than frontier closed source models. Two, you can take them and do what you want with them. You can fine tune them for your own use cases. You can give it additional knowledge with fine tuning. And it's also being released under an Apache 2.0 license. So a very permissive, very standard licensing model. According to the blog post, these models outperform similarly sized open source models on reasoning tasks, demonstrating strong tool use capabilities, and are optimized for efficient deployment on consumer hardware. Wait till you hear what these models can actually be fit on. They were trained using a mix of reinforcement learning and techniques informed by OpenAI's most advanced internal models, including O3 and other frontier systems. So, we have a lot going on here. And the cool thing is we actually get a ton of insight into how they baked these models as opposed to some of their frontier closed source models, which we don't get a lot of info for. So GPT OSS 120B achieves near parity with OpenAI 04 Mini, which is crazy, on core reasoning benchmarks while running efficiently on a single 80 gigabyte GPU. So this should actually be able to run on my Mac, which has 96 gigabytes of unified memory and on my PC, which has two A6000s. Now, granted, I understand those are very high-end machines, but they are still consumer machines. Then the 20 billion parameter version delivers similar results to O3 Mini on common benchmarks and can run on edge devices with just 16 gigabytes of memory. And that makes it ideal for on-device use cases, local inference, or rapid iteration without costly infrastructure. So download it, use it locally, absolutely incredible. And by the way, I would just recommend you download this model and other open source models just to have ready, just in case you don't have the internet, just in case something in the world happens in which you need access to the world's knowledge at any time. This is the way to do it. Have it on a memory stick, have it on your computer and just have it ready. These models are good at tool use, few shot function calling, chain of thought reasoning, and health bench, meaning it's good at diagnosing health issues. Both of the models are compatible with the responses API and are designed to be used within agentic frameworks like, of course, my favorite, Crew AI. And something that's kind of unique with open source models, you can actually adjust the amount of reasoning that these models execute during the chain of thought portion. So you can actually adjust that setting, which is awesome. So set it really low when you need a quick answer and you don't care about how deeply it thinks and then set it high if you have more complex math, science, coding, and reasoning problems. So both of these models were trained using their most advanced pre-training and post-training techniques with a particular focus on reasoning, efficiency, and real world usability across a wide range of deployment environments. I suspect this model, along with all of the amazing Chinese open source models that we've seen over the last few weeks are really going to change the game for enterprise organizations that need that extra layer of security and privacy by deploying these models on premises or at least on their own infrastructure. Each model is a transformer using mixture of experts. This is so cool. We basically get to see all of the decisions they made to make these models to reduce the number of active parameters needed to process input. The 120 billion parameter version activates only 5 billion parameters per token, which is kind of nuts. That is a very high ratio of parameters to active parameters. And the 20 billion parameter version activates 3.6 billion. So again, the Larger version is just super efficient as long as you can fit the model in memory. Running it will be very efficient. The models use alternating dense and locally branded sparse attention patterns similar to GPT-3. For inference and memory efficiency, they use group multi-query attention with a group size of eight. They use rope for positional encoding and natively support context lengths of up to 128K. And of course, with a little bit of tuning, that could probably be increased. We train the models on a high quality 
text-only data set with a focus on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, coding, and general knowledge. They tokenized the data using a superset of their tokenizer used for O4 Mini and GPT-4.0, which they are also open sourcing today. And if you want to try this model out today, check it out from the sponsor of today's video, Together AI. You could try these new open source models along with all of the best open source models on the market at blazing fast speeds and incredible prices. So check it out. They've been a phenomenal partner to us. Link down below. So let's talk about post training now. Post training was similar to what they did for O4 Mini, including a supervised fine tuning stage and a high compute RL reinforcement learning stage with the objective to align it with the model spec, of course, and teach it to apply chain of thought reasoning and tool use before producing its answer. This is the same technique that all major models use to get chain of thought working. And very similar to the O series of models, they have low, medium, and high reasoning settings. Now for some benchmarks. Here is the code forces competition. Now the 120 billion parameter version with tools scores a 2622. That is compared to O3, a frontier model with tools, 2706. That is extremely comparable. And the crazy thing, look at the 20 billion parameter version with tools, 2516. I'd say that is just as comparable given its size. These are incredibly strong scores and beat most humans on the entire planet at coding. Here's humanity's last exam. Remember, these are expert level questions. So we have the 120 billion parameter version with tools scoring a 19%. O3 with tools with 24.9%. Now the open source 120B version with tools beats out O4 mini with tools and of course O3 mini without tools. Here is health bench, which is the medical benchmark. So here it is 120B 57.6 compared to O3 59.8, extremely comparable. These are realistic health conversations. Here are challenging health conversations, 30 versus 31.6. Amy 2024, Look at that, absolutely insane. Even the 20 billion parameter version got a 96% on Amy 2024. Similarly for Amy 2025, the 20 billion parameter version actually beat the 120 billion parameter version. But across the board, these are such strong results for an open source model. And hopefully I no longer even have to say for an open source model. This is just gonna be the way it is now. Here's GPQA Diamond. This is a PhD level science benchmark for the 120 billion 80.1 versus O3. 83.3 and coming up closely behind it, the 20 billion parameter version at 71.5. Here's MMLU, 90% for the 120, 85.3 for the 20 billion and very comparable to O3. And here's Tau Bench for function calling, same thing, 67.8, 70.4 respectively between 120B and O3. So very, very respectable results. Now here's something super interesting on the safety front, specifically with chain of thought. Monitoring a reasoning model's chain of thought can be helpful for detecting misbehavior as long as the model was not trained with direct supervision for aligning the chain of thought. And in line with our principles, we did not put any direct supervision on the chain of thought for either OSS model. And so basically you're going to be able to see the raw chain of thought, but they also point out developers should not directly show chain of thoughts to users in their applications. It may contain hallucinated or harmful content. And so they're basically recommending you do what they do, which is summarize and filter through the raw chain of thought rather than showing it to users. So continuing on the safety front, they pre-trained and filtered out any harmful data related to chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear data. But it is open source and they say it right here. Once the open source open weight model is out, adversaries may be able to fine tune the model for malicious purposes. And we directly assess these risks by fine tuning the model on specialized biology and cybersecurity data, creating a domain specific non-refusing version for each domain the way an attacker might. This testing indicated that even with robust extensive fine tuning that leveraged OpenAI's field leading training stack, these maliciously fine-tuned models were unable to reach high capability levels according to our preparedness framework, which is very interesting. So even though they tried to get the open source model to say things it shouldn't, they 
couldn't. And this is specifically within the context of biological weapons and nuclear weapons and so on. They're also hosting a challenge for red teamers and giving out $500,000 that will be awarded based on review from a panel of expert judges from OpenAI and other leading labs. And the point is to try to identify safety issues with these models. So that's everything you need to know for now. I am going to be doing a thorough test video, so stay tuned for that. And once again, thank you to Together for sponsoring this video. You can check out these brand new open source models from OpenAI. Try them out. Let me know what you think. Get it at Together AI, link down below, or go directly there. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.